Okay, it's six o'clock. I'm going to call a meeting to order. Yeah, that's the key. Good. Thank you. Uh, any adjustments to the select board agenda? Anything? No. Public comments? No. Approved bills and payrolls. So done. Approved minutes from the uh, April 11th meeting. That's been done. Robin, did that end up with you? I don't have it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So you're up. Robin, town clerk's report. Okay, um, the school was on vacation last week, right. so I didn't have a chance to call them about the May 7th. I called this morning. They were having problems getting their computers up when I called. And they were going to call me back, and by 2.30 I still haven't received a call back, so I have to call them again tomorrow morning. Uh huh. That's about the room for the meeting? Yes. Hmm. Yep. We're making sure that Donnie will set it up for us. Okay. Yep. Speaking of reservations, this is off the topic a little bit. Uh, can you put July 30th on your town hall calendar for the old home days? Yes. July 30th. Anything else? Um, my recording's up to date. And Any? we had a call from Harvard PD about a gravestone that they found in a house in Hardwick that they're cleaning up, that the house is going to be put up for auction, and they've got it determined that the gravestone belongs to Southwood Bury Cemetery. Well. Really? And it goes back to 1898. Is it just one of those flat ones that you can... I haven't seen it. Hmm? I don't know if Patty's seen it or not, but it belonged to Hattie Bell Lightford. Oh, right. no. Oh. Really? Oh. Yep. oh, that's a neighboring property to us. Yeah, Hattie Bell Hattie Road. Hattie Bell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Hattie Bell Road. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I who Hattie Bell was. Yeah. <laughs> she was... I guess she was, she, was a, she was a force of nature. Yeah. Uh, really? You've heard yeah. That? You've done some research on her? No. Well, I mean, if you have an adjoining property, why not? Yeah, sure. Why not learn about yeah. somebody? That's interesting. Where is the gravestone now? I believe it's at Hybrid PD. Okay. That should be something that the Cemetery Commission gets yeah, to know Patty, about. Yeah, Patty. I believe Patty's going to talk about it when she gets here tonight, too. Got it. Probably a marble limestone. Or slate. Or limestone. Or, or slate. Or slate. 1898. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very well could be slate. Yeah. But if you could read it, mm -hmm. right. more likely slate. So you don't have anything about the treasurer's report then? Uh, Brandy left me some stuff, yes. Um, the first... So are we moving on, sir? Uh, Wait, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, anything else from the... I did want to make sure, you know, just mention if you need anything for the town meeting on May 7th. You know, you can ask us. Okay. Every year. <laughs> what 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 might we need? Well, I mean, I don't know. The the uh, select uh, board of civil authority needs to be there to count votes and all that. And she's going to bring the checklist and the name tags and mm -hmm. and the box with the little ballots in it and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So you know, if she needs any help carting things or anything, you know. no, I should be good for that. Good. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'll probably still bring one of those sneeze guides to put up in front of whoever's going to be taking the names mm -hmm. and checking off on yeah. the checklist. As you come up the stairs? Right. Yeah, that's nice. Well, we, do, we still don't have the gym yet. Well, when I talked oh. to Mr. <laughs> K this morning, I said it was back in February, and I believe Chris is the one that had asked for the gym originally. He yes, said, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I I'll ask Mr. K again tomorrow when okay. I drop off my my kids. So, okay. I can ask him again. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, at that point, the town hall will be available, you know, possible. Yep. If something else is planned for the gym on May 7th. Well, I bet, <laughs> I bet there'll be a pretty good turnout for that meeting. Yeah. Better be. Yeah, I well, should hope so. Well, that's why um, Green Up Day got... Yeah, that's really right. right. And that's why we decided right. to do it in the gym rather than the town hall. In the town hall. To begin with. Yep. 
Anything else from the? From the clerk, I believe that's it. Okay. Can we move on to the treasury report? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Back March 23rd, the grader hit a utility pole over on the county road. The cost of this said utility pole is $1,228.65. We have a $1,000 deductible. And she wants to know, do you want her to file a claim for this or pay out and not file a claim? And the difference is 200 and something dollars. 228 dollars 65 cents. No. So is this so. kind of in relation to dealing with insurance companies that if you if you take a claim, they, they sometimes... Uh, will increase your... Yeah, yeah they're not going to increase their... No, no this would be liability insurance. Yeah. It shouldn't make any difference, but... But it would she be a gonna, lot. She's going to have two, uh, $228 or whatever time tied up in doing it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I'd like to pay it out personally. Just pay it without um, making a claim. That's my opinion, but I'll what take everybody else's opinion. Got a motion? Well, wait a minute. I don't yeah. think it's a conversation. To raise the rates. I mean, no, 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 it wouldn't, but it's yeah. still a lot of work to yeah. well, get the claim and everything. Yeah, well, I guess I'd be up to Brandy if she wants to do that. Right. Right. Well, that's why she kicked it over to us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you could have just filed a claim. So, <laughs> so that, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pay it all yeah, ourselves. Yeah, let's pay the twelve hundred something dollars. We have the money. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't be too busy. <laughs> in this case, I keep saying that at every in, meeting. Okay. okay. In, in this, in this case, it ex, it expedites a, a, a it expedites a process that would other be otherwise be like kind of problematic. This is a really I don't know. I think this is an easy one. There are some hard ones out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is an line, easy one. We don't have a line item for insurance claims, but maybe we should. Well, maybe Hopefully that's. We won't need it. I hope not. <laughs> okay, so we all agree on that. Just pay. Okay. Just pay it. Okay. Anything else? Her treasurer's report. She's got payroll expenses for the last two weeks of eight thousand four hundred nineteen dollars and seventy three cents. Accounts payable was twenty four thousand five forty seven and forty one cents. She has income of eight hundred twelve dollars and sixty cents which will take in fleet permits, recordings, copies, dog licenses, land recordings, land copies, marriage license, prepaid tax, and vault fees. And then we've also we have received a check for delinquent tax or checks for delinquent taxes of twenty four thousand three fifty four and thirteen cents. Cool. That's one, or, or that's collect. That's a more than one. That's yeah, collected. It must be. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And she's also received class two, three roads highway supplement of twenty thousand nineteen dollars and seventy nine cents. Mm -hmm. Any and comments? That's what she gave me. Mm -hmm. So that supplement will be in addition to the fiscal year 23 allotment that they'll be giving us. That's great. Really? Yeah. Extra? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, that still that's COVID additional. Money that or? should be additional money. It, they've been doing that since the pandemic. And we got at least one or two payments. Was that, that, when they started doing that, was that in uh, replacing the individual grants that they used to give out? They just spread it no. all out? No, 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 no. it's okay. just an addition. Yeah. Yep. Huh. They just... Yeah. She's got a breakdown. They threw money at us. Yeah. yeah. She's got a breakdown here. Highway supplements was $1,994.95. Class 3, $12,629.73. Class 2, $5,395.11. Hmm. Cool. Which makes up the 20. Oh, so it's not all 2019. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're coming out pretty well after the telephone poll then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to jump check ahead because we're ahead of... Uh, uh, or, or, what, 
Let's get hot. You want you want Chuck to come up, or what, what, when you say? Go ahead. I well, don't know. Six thirty. The West. The Westwood we've, Bay we've got, we've got fifteen right. minutes before the Westwood Bay group comes in. So we could so, do town plan. So this we could do either town how report or town plan. You better go with the plan. All right. Okay. <laughs> Plan. <laughs> Planning Commission. Finally. Yeah. So we had a we had a hearing. Yeah. A couple of comments. I have a comment. You have a comment. I don't believe there were ever thousands of men working at the quarry. There was. Thousands? Thirty five hundred at one time. Working at the quarry or all the quarries. What? All quarries. It was seven quarries on that mountain that were operating seven at the same quarries. time. Okay. That's why the railroad tracks are there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there used to be boarding houses up there. Yeah. 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 Right. Why those houses are close yeah. Well, then, no, but there was a boarding. There was supposed to be a big boarding house right up on the road. Right? You know, it was kind yeah. of. Well, um, Spring, Spring Valley. Valley. Spring Valley. Valley. So is yeah. old, it, that old house is there's, part of that old. There's yeah. the white so, boarding house. There's the Fletcher boarding house. There's the blue boarding house, and the foundations are all still there. There used to be a colony where you go up over that town road and it crosses the railroad tracks where you go in by main and sheds. What's that guy's name now? Phil Edson. Phil Edson. Mm. For the snow machine trail that was up oh, there. Yeah, yeah. There was a German settlement in there and they had one Dutch oven, a built Dutch yeah. oven there and everybody in town cooked up. Uh, mm. Wow. And what ended that settlement was some of the home cells right there. Oh. What's that? Somebody in the in the colony home cells right there, and they just they shut it all down. Hmm. Mm. Huh. So the Germans were working in the quarries too. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it's the whole my town. grandmother. The whole town. She grew up right where Lewis Bracken was, mm -hmm. and she talks about all the men on Friday night mm. will go out and cut a rail car loose, and everybody pile on it. And they'd ride the harbor. Do the drink really? and party in. How they get back? It was uphill. Really? Monday morning. They'd ride up on the train. <laughs> drag them back up on the car. <laughs> I believe it. Are we going to start talking about Queen of the Mountain, too? Or, uh... <laughs> no, no. Yeah, she's on the other side. <laughs> she's yeah. on the other side. That's... Okay. Oh, well, okay. I'll stop complaining about that. Well, Louis Norton said that it used to be a pool hall here and, and everything else, and it was for the... Uh... The little house right next to the post office was a pool hall and laundromat. Wow. Yeah. They go and do the laundry and do the poop same time. Yeah. yeah. Well, the house that we own up on the Catholic Road, that used to be the Cougar Club, that was yeah. their Byron Town. It was Byron. Yeah. 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 Private club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? Not the one where Danny lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looked like a new house. Chuck, was there ever a well, name is a new for house. that hill where the quarters <laughs> are? It's a different house now. <laughs> <laughs> an old town name. Because uh, this. Um, was asking me about that. I said I was aware of me. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Gail Morris told what a story about um, the the hill. I guess we call it Cabot Hill at this point, but uh, the hill where the present quarry is, and then the series of quarries. Um, oh. The whiz. I can't think of her. Elizabeth Dow. Yeah, Elizabeth yeah. Dow. She. Wants to had asked me if there was ever a name for that hill or, or mountain. You know, like there's round yeah. hill, just yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I if there was, I've forgotten it. I, I don't well, think I've ever heard of one. It seems like you would know if anybody. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't show up on the on on the maps. The maps yeah, there's no name. No. For it. Yeah, okay, there's no I'll, name I'll for it. I'll report back to her. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Robeson Mount or Robinson Robeson Mountain. Robinson Mountain is a little further to the east. Is what? It's, just, it's a little further to the east. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the next knoll over. Wow. Gerald Morris, remember Gerald? He talked about uh, when he, he they used to uh, go after the erratics, you know, with the star uh, star bits and yeah. pound them, oh, yeah. and that's what made foundation stones out of it. Yeah. And he he said that when the quarry started flooding, there was somebody. F the foreman's brother or something was head of fisheries or you know and they they would take their uh their they put trout in their in their lunch containers you know and they put the trout in the uh, in the quarries and uh i never knew of anybody catching any wow. trout out of wow. there but uh, or even 
If you go well, on, over no. on blue. Excuse me. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go over on blue quarry. Yeah. There's. I've caught fish. I've got brook trout out of there. Native brook trout. Pink. Oh. Nice pink native oh. brook trout. Now oh. we're big. Yeah. Five six inches. But. Yeah. That's way over on Blue Quarry next yeah. to Buck Lake. Yeah, that's a waste in there, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as far as Woodbury Quarry and yeah. Gray Quarry, and yeah. I've never caught. Yeah. 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 Not that we have a truck, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never caught anything. Yeah. But over on the old Blue Quarry, we used to catch them over there. Yeah. If you go up um, off the rail trail, it's called Corkscrew Road that goes up to the Buck Lake Road. So uh -huh. That whole road is, is littered with erratics that have been carved and. Um, Chunks taken out of them. Uh -huh. uh, it's like a dinosaur graveyard. So yeah. Yeah, they're not erratics. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are small little outcroppings. Yeah. Yeah, they're outcrops. Yeah. And that's what most of that stone is coming from. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The erratics. Yeah. The erratics have a specific term, right? Right. Erratics are yeah. a glacial term. Glacier, right. Yeah. When mm -hmm. down by that log cabin that I had in the Gulf. Yeah. Right up behind that, somebody tried quarrying up there. And Didn't work. Blasted the gas because yeah. it's mm -hmm. grip. Everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a little place up <clears throat> that way behind my house that yeah. where you can tell somebody tried to take some stones out at one time, drill yeah. holes and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, right. good good yeah. history. Well, well, well now we since we're on the quarry. Yeah. I mean, it's a little off, but um, May we've been, 11th. We've been, we've been off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, off. Yeah, May 11th good. is going to be the memorial service for John Patwin. Oh, really? It's going to be oh. in Cabot at the Pavilion. By the wreck field. Mm -hmm. Yep, wreck field. Yeah. May 11th? May 11th. It's going to be at 11 o'clock. Oh. May 11th? Oh, I'm sorry, 14th. Oh, 14th. May 14th at 11. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew there was an 11 in there. <laughs> well, I couldn't remember. I, I read it. I couldn't remember. But he was the foreman up at this quarry for many years. And he gave a tremendous mm -hmm. talk yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. That was probably still available on HCTV. I, he was the youngest of the Pat ones, uh, I believe. The youngest of Henry Pat ones. Yeah, yeah. Henry's boys. A lot of Pat ones. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Tremendous amount. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry he went. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm. and where yeah, is he? He was, in, he was in down in North Carolina for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the ball field, rec field there, is, is just head up the just, lower Cabot Road. Lower, yeah, right like on the lower road. Cabot. Oh, it's, it's, it's not going to be in a building? It's, it's just There's a, a pavilion. Yeah, yeah. There's a pavilion. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. Adjacent to okay. it. Okay. 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 Um, Patty, do you want to, is that, or do you want to, uh, should we go by the agenda now? Well, uh, no, we got to finish this people up. People from, people from uh, West Woodbury aren't here yet, so um, we got 10 minutes. He could show up at any time. We really should finish up the town, town plan. plan. Okay. Okay. That's that was our that was our. That's our, where we started. Our, yeah. That's where we started. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Did you did you have any comments after the hearing? Uh, no, just Norm had. Made those his comments mm -hmm. right. known to us right when we had the draft of the enhanced energy plan. Right, and I think mm -hmm. I had alluded to that at our meeting. You did. We we weren't happy with the original language, and so the language that's in the enhanced energy plan is is a modification of that yes. language based on yeah. I mean, we public kept, comment already. We kept the chart. We sort of had to, um, but we did add language saying that we didn't think that the chart. Especially regarding heat pumps, was realistic for weather. Right, right. Um, and you know, so sort of totally disregards the fact that we have a lot of forest here, and a lot of people like to burn wood. Um, mm. so and what percentage? It's a it's a significant number of a percentage that of people that burn wood for heat in this town. Mm. Right. Is I, it thirty percent or something? It's, it's more than that. Over fifty. More, it's over fifty percent. Yeah. yeah. More than thirty. Yeah. yeah. Over, it's, 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 yeah. It's, 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 I have it somewhere, but it's over. I think yeah. it's over fifty percent. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, it's totally unrealistic. So, but, uh, well, Chris Cody's will make a motion to approve the town plan as written. You want to second that? Second. Okay, you've heard the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well done.
Thank you. Terrific and, work. And, end of it. Mm. Thanks. Terrific work. Free at last. Really? Well, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, not even close to free. Uh, Sorry. Close. Just to step 25 out of 40. Something Actually, like that. this is step 12 out of 32. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we have to file this now within 30 days to the Department of Housing and Community Development. Yeah. And to the Regional Planning Commission. Correct. Mm -hmm. And it's the select board that has to file. Is that true? We have to file. The select board has to file. Yeah. Correct. Right. Which means the select board. You'll do it? You know, I can give you all the email addresses <laughs> and contact information. Because mm -hmm. the select board doesn't really have an, an email address. Yep. So, yeah. Skip, I think what we need is we have the final draft. If there have been any modifications based on public comment, yeah. we would need to see that draft. Yeah. If there have not been, no. because we didn't, we we didn't see as a select board any significant public comment that needed to be addressed right. directly, because everything that was in public comments were things that did not fall into the time frame that were appropriate. Mm -hmm. All things that could be modified down the line. Sure. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we understand how to file it appropriately, and, and any help you can give us with that yeah. would we, would be much appreciated. Robin, yeah, the town clerk, and then the select board could. Um, yeah, just come under. It has to come. It, from the it has to. It has to come under mm -hmm. the bill of the town, okay. yeah. with all the select board members signing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can get the language for that. I'll, I'll write the letter. Okay. You don't have to write the letter as long as you give us the guidance. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you want to write the letter. Okay, write <laughs> Otherwise, the clerk has to write the letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'll send you a document if you can use it fine. If not, we'll modify it as, as need be. We'll all look at thank it. you, Skip. Okay, and thank you. Don't wait until the next meeting because I won't be here. So it, if we could. Uh, we don't have that much time. We need to sign it sooner rather than later. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 30 yeah. days. Yep. But, okay. but you'll have the information tomorrow. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you so much. Good. And could you CC the code? Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. And CC I, I, I'd rather CC the whole whole board. Yeah. yeah. That's fine, too. Yeah. yeah. I'll send you the link to the planning. That would be perfect. Oh, if I could CC the entire board, that would be yeah. more appropriate. Yeah, they are. Right. Okay. Cool. Come on in. Terrific. It's a, it's dealer's deal. cho dealer's choice. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. Perfect timing. Brought the mayor with him. He's doing mask on. How you doing? Hey. How are you? Good. You? Good. So. All right. So. Who's going to lead this discussion from the, from? You want to introduce yourselves first? Yeah. We can introduce. I'm oh. Diana Peduzzi, Peter Peltz, Chris, Chris you've probably met before he was yeah. on the board, but yeah. Peter and I are new and we don't really don't know <clears throat> much about what was committed uh, on behalf of you guys or on behalf of the town, so maybe you can bring us up to speed. I, I can help with that too. And it's also in the select board minutes that we've had. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, I'm Dan Corshane. Okay. Mayor Bissett, Tim Hall. Thank you. So we came last fall, I believe it was, to try and get the Westward Berry Cemetery expanded. Mm -hmm. And we met with Chris. He did some stuff up there. And I don't know that I came back to another meeting, but my understanding was at the end that if we did the stumping and the fence, the town would do the survey and the deed. Yes, the town um, did commit to that. Okay. The town committed to that. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> and, and not the cemetery commission, but the town. Did the, the town, town budget for it, even though they committed for it? Uh, Without? I don't know. I don't know if we did or not. Mm. I believe we did, but... but I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did. In the, in, so it's in the budget somewhere? Uh, I can't say 100% sure that I, I mm -hmm. The only expense they would be the quick claim to just transfer the ownership of the property. Well, the survey is going to be expensive. Create, create a postage stamp and then right. well, did, indeed it. When 
The girl that done she, the survey up here, didn't she go up to Westwood Bury too? We, we asked her to do the survey of this Westwood Bury Cemetery and, and where the, the road, right. new, new road would be, and she only had time to do the road. Oh. So we would ask her to come and do. She's from Cabot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lisa Jeanette. Lisa Jeanette. Um, also to bring you up to speed, um, the neighbors had some concerns, so we addressed them by saying there would only be cremations in the front of the cemetery and burials in the back. Okay. And then the other one was Chris was going to go up with some students and stuff and make sure that the, the property was, you know, perking, had the depth, had no ledge, um, because the cemetery commissioner didn't want to inherit something that they couldn't use. Correct. And he went up and gave it the green light. We did. Yep. Um, okay. And uh, if How we need to do that, we used ground penetrating radar oh. to make sure that we didn't have depth to bedrock problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we used yeah. GPR and we uh, did auger surveys mm -hmm. down to six meters depth, which is plenty more than enough. And we're basically going into a coarse till. And after you guys stumped it, we came and did a quick look. I'm sorry I, I didn't get you guys out there at the same time. <laughs> Um, but we have there, I mean, basically there's no, there's no bedrock available, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, it's coarse material, takes a bit to dig through, but there's no bedrock. So that's the percolation problem. It's all until, it's all until, and we have a cursory report that we can certainly give to the cemetery commission if that's useful. But it's a student-based report. It's not a professional report. Um, but the observations, I think, would hold up no matter who took a look at it. It's a free report. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's very much a free report. And we also, I mean, we, we did go out and we surveyed the property. So anybody else who wants to come in and check the survey of, you know, the total property area, we did it by pace and compass. So we could so you so we, we provide can, that so we can I give can it to provide the that and you can give that to the surveyor and you guys can go to guns on it Hopefully from there. She can, that'll, that'll help but, make her work easier. Or not. Yeah. If you can entirely disagrees with us, it's <laughs> not gonna make it easier. But. So I was just curious as to why the the cemetery commission has like twenty two thousand dollars and why none of that money was allocated to this project. Question for Patty. Do you remember, Michael? Uh, I don't remember, but um, Patty might, because I know it was the Cemetery Commission that was concerned about spending any money on this project. So they need so they need that $22,000 for something else? Yeah, weren't you talking about improving the all, that, all the cemeteries? Oh, yeah. That's different. Oh. This is money they had before. Before? Before the $13,000 that was approved for at town meeting. This is money that well, they already had. Am I speaking out of turn, or you guys pretty much have volunteered everything up there? Right. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not suggesting that <clears throat> they should pay anymore. <laughs> no, we we wanted to make this mm -hmm. right. as Donation. seamless as possible. Right. Um, and the other thing, so this land belongs to a friend of mine and I, and we're both on board mm -hmm. of getting this yep. expansion to fruition. And... The only thing I ask is, you know, we would stump it, we would grade it clear, we would make it the way it should. We even, these guys actually generously donated the fence. <clears throat> All I wanted was four plots, two of which I'm going to donate um, and two of which I want to keep. So that was the only thing I said. Four, four person lots? Yes. For giving the land up. Huh? For giving the, the, the land up. I mean, we usually... Well, we charge like two hundred dollars for a four-person lot. We don't get very much for those, so yeah, that's, I think that's we would, not a problem. <clears throat> I think we'd waive that fee. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's yeah, not a problem. Yeah. The, so the, the surveyor will also lay out the grids. I'm assuming. This is whatever the guy. Otherwise, above my pay grade. However, they dissect <laughs> it. You know, it's going to be theirs, and they yeah. can do what they see fit yeah. with it. Yeah. So you mentioned they're going to put the sto the headstones in back in the 
Well, geez. what's up, Sorry. Doc? That's important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, see, you move so fast, Danny. You mentioned that the headstones were going to be in back, and then the uh, cremations were going to be front. Well, you still yeah. have headstones with a cremation. Uh -huh. um, but so no nothing that's there is going to be, be impacted by it. I'm just a newbie on this. Uh, Joyce and Mark Major's well is on the other side of their land, uh, of their house, which is on the. Yeah. Uh, east it's across side. the. It's, it's across, across the road from the current cemetery. Right. It's right. across so the road from the current cemetery. Why they, with the way they bury things nowadays, compared to where they buried them right. yesterday, yeah. and this cemetery is going to be behind that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't know. It didn't matter. They had an issue. We addressed it. Okay. They had came Correct. up with some. Number of feet that they found well, somewhere. You know, well, you know, I can come up with. You know, you can't put a well <laughs> and infringe on my land, so yeah, I, you know, I'll I could just turn there. it around and say, "Move your well." Not well. trying to start any neighborhood. They had a little concern. We addressed it by saying, the "We'll set, meet the setback." The setback is enough. With because there was half the cemetery mm -hmm. is beyond mm -hmm. the setback, mm -hmm. and they and they said, "Okay," mm -hmm. so that. And also part of the report that. Um, I did with my students is looking at the direction in which most of the groundwater is flowing, right. which is into a major tributary, which is on the west side of that system. Right there's a huge tributary yeah. that's right there, mm -hmm. incised, and pretty much all the water percolates in that direction, which is away from an easterly well. Mm -hmm. So, and we can document that, mm -hmm. and then the surveyor can check our documentation, Good. which is, okay. uh, we'll give it to them and it's up to, the, up, up to them to make sure that we did it right, but yeah. we did it right. So I guess <clears throat> I feel up to speed. I don't, except for who's going to pay for what. How about you guys? Any work well, we have money in the budget well, to pay for a number of things. Oh, we have a look. Yeah. Right. And the sur <laughs> and so the survey is no problem. Okay. And how we allocate the funds. So you don't think any of it should come out of the cemetery money that they already have? I think it should come out of the cemetery money. That's why we allocated it. Well, that's the that's the question that I have because I don't think it needs to be answered right now, though. So these guys ain't that's don't true. have to hang around that's for true. Okay. <laughs> we just want to make sure the ball is still rolling. Yeah. We want to make sure that nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have cleared the lot. We've stumped the lot. Mm -hmm. We're going to be, you know, grading it, seeding it. Oh, nice. We're going to be putting in a little stone mm -hmm. for like a little parking lot, if you will. Um, cool. The fence will come later. Yeah. But I mean, we're we're on board for all the things that we committed to. Nice. And we just want to reaffirm that you guys. And I know it's not just you guys, but I guess <laughs> you're the lightning rod that gets to the cemetery <laughs> yeah. people. Um, so, did you? Are you going to use any topsoil, or do you think that, that you? There's plenty of topsoil there. Oh, there is. Yeah. Terrific. Oh yeah, there's. Right. It's a terrific piece of land. Yeah. yeah. For exactly I, I, this purpose. I, I wrote down. I got to go go see it. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. I'll take you for a ride. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, meet Barry and we get right. ten. We, get, we, we, get that go, we go catch up. Yeah, so no we go. If that goes here or to, <clears throat> I went through you, so I'll let you get that to where it's supposed to go. That bill for getting rid of that tree. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. that was the over, that was the overhanging. Yeah. That was the one overhanging. Yeah. There was that was, was the only one that was of drastic concern. Oh, it was. It would have been. Go. It would have been in the cemetery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would have been bad. That one was going to go. And uh, great. Anyway, I mean, I'll give Brandy an order. Somebody. Uh, I mean, I'm giving Robin. Yeah. Robin. I'm giving Robin give it to Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. Brandy, you'll have it. <laughs> was that to you? Uh, yes, um, I did it under uh, Bear Enterprises, but there's no hurry on that. I mean, I, I'm right. just sitting on it, waiting for you to get back. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll get it taken care of right off. Um, yep. Anything else? So that's nice to hear that you're going to seed it and continue to make it nice, and yeah, maybe by fall we'll be ready to. That's the idea is to. <laughs> So they can take it over and maintain it and mow it, and you know right. we don't want to deal with perpetual care, but mm. we want to make it as easy for them to transition into taking it over. Mm. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, thank you for your.
Appreciate your work. Hard work. And Thank you. Really do. Commitment. So the next thing is I'll contact the surveyor and talk to her. And yes, please. You'll and I'll send data to you. Okay. And mm -hmm. she can take advantage of that as she pleases. Okay. And if I can have a date to go out there at the same Either. time, okay. it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Okay. Since I've been on the ground mm -hmm. with these gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Is it staked um, out? Um, yes, it's, it, oh, it, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. It, well, we staked it when we were there. Okay. Yeah, now we might have knocked them down. It's not staked <laughs> in. <anymore. laughs> <laughs> Must have been the kind of what we did in the winter storm. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Winter yeah the, for, the formal staking. Um, yeah. Yeah. We have a good we have a good sense of it. So yeah. if oh, great. it would it wouldn't be bad if I came out. Yeah. So if we could time you should it notify these guys still so they can be there. Apparently. I would like that very yeah. much. Chris has our contact. I have your contact information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you need something. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I don't think you need us to do what you guys do. Nope. Do. But no. it wouldn't be bad if you guys gave a perspective at, at the same time. At least you know time. what was going on, what yeah. was going on. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. so a heads up wouldn't be such a bad thing. Does that sound reasonable enough? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for coming. We really Thank you. Appreciate, very appreciate it. it. Thanks for your support. Absolutely. Thank you, Michael. Sure. See you there. Have a good night, guys. See you, Robert. See you, Danny. Excuse me. Have a good night. So you're up, Chuck. Patty? You're up, Chuck. I am? <laughs> Patty's all done? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Well, there's quite a few things going on right now. You must wait till Chris gets back. All right. Uh, the first meeting, uh, which is saying that we're going to have our monthly meeting at 6 o'clock. What happens at all the homes at all the homes at all the what? What happens at home? Oh, well, it's uh, just going to try to help. A bunch of people are trying to put together a gathering with events to get people here and do things like fun kids games and the library will have something going on and... Uh, I know in the past they've also come up with a lot of old photographs of the town. And I expect that may be so, but Maybe the Historical Society, they did do a nice exhibit a few years ago when we had We haven't had this for several months. You know, What's that? <laughs> what, when? Yeah. It's later July in the summer. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Because I'll talk to Ken King about getting a bunch of his photos. He's got some photos of this town. So does Sheila Neal. Yeah, really. Well, she has got all the historical stuff. Yeah. 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 Ken can is, well, some of the his, their historical stuff they got from Ken. Yeah. So he's going to most of it he can still explain. Yeah. Stuff. That'd be great. He could be an exhibit. We could give him a tell him, we'll give him a special tent. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be fun. The old storyteller. Yeah. <laughs> 90 what? <laughs> uh, 94. You know, oh, right 5 here. November. December 2nd. December 2nd. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Still going strong. Cut six quarter wood last year. You did? Uh, Cut it, split it, burned it. Wow. Was it log length or did he go get it out of the he woods? He got it. Cut the trees, dragged them out, cut no. it, split it. Wow. He's no fooling. Well, it's a good way to stay healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'll probably die, die doing what he loves. Yeah. Playing in the woods. Mm. <laughs> so, um, I got a couple of questions for you, Mike. Sure. What do you know about graders and CDL licenses? Nothing. <laughs> well,. According to what I find, you don't need to have CDL to drive it. Greg okay. says you do, but uh -huh. um, I do remember Greg mentioning. That everybody so in the state of Vermont says you don't have to. Okay. No. So I I'm gonna. That would be a good question for VTrans. I think they could answer that question pretty quickly. If you want to. Or DMV. A, a higher authority. DMV's already answered it. Okay. They, they said no. Well, they yeah. said no. Okay. Yeah. The only reason you need the CDL to operate equipment on the town road, like a bucket loader or a grader or anything like that, was mm -hmm. if you transported it with a truck and a trailer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be doing that, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. That grader's not being utilized enough right now. Oh, you think the roads definitely need to be graded. Yeah. Roads could use a little bit of 
A little bit DLC. of work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot. And I'm trying to be DLC. kind. <laughs> I'm trying to be kind. And you're going to be kind <laughs> enough to volunteer. I don't mean volunteer unpaid, but to actually do some of that work yourself. Great. Yeah. Good. Did the grader go out today? It did. Okay, well, that's good. Not, not as much as I wanted, but it went out. <laughs> it got... Uh, Bailey Bridge. Bailey Bridge Road, the whole line. It's got Town Farm Town Road. Town Farm Road. Hmm. And... A little bit over on the dog pond road. Yeah, mm -hmm. to end the dog pond. Yeah. What about East Hill? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the uh, that's a way over that, there. Both well, there. Yes, I well, know. I was I was talking to the owner of the bus company. He said it's pretty tricky up there with them school buses. Oh, he hit, he caught me. He saying, didn't he say anything. When he was here? Well, that's not the same one. That's not the owner of the that's bus company the anymore. Bus company what? Anymore. No. That's not the owner of the bus company anymore. Really? Right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. He caught me Sandy, and I had a couple of flower here tell me he had done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, on, it's one of the ones on the first part of the list. Yeah. Is it still wet? Yeah. Yeah, usually it's, it's the last one. It's the last one to dry out. Well, there's a lot of dry spots up there. Just making a showing with that piece of machinery is going to be significant. One hell of a feather in somebody's hat. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, Don is the one that convinced the select board back in the 90s to put that guardrail up there. Yeah. The hill is not bad. Um, from there up through to the top of the hill past the eagle's nest is not bad. From around that corner up through to the four corners, it's kind of a nightmare. Terrible. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. then this, and then that single, the uh, the old schoolhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, in front of the old schoolhouse, now it's pretty good. Is it over by Lenora Thompson's? It's terrible. Yeah. yeah that flat area, yeah. it's really wet on either side of the road. That's yeah. Cool. Well, that there's no, in, there's no drainage. Kurt, yeah, Kurt never put a culvert in there's his no, driveway, there, and the water's oh, setting nice. both sides of his driveway about that deep. There's no, there's no well, drainage no whatsoever. The road's gonna dry out until we get mm -hmm. that water out of there. Yeah. There's Did you no, get a no access permit? Well, I don't know. That was oh god, that was that was, five, that was years, years and years and years ago. Really? Yeah. yeah. No. I don't. Well, well yeah. he and Ken had Ken had the mill. Yeah, yeah, before yeah. Before he built. Yeah. I had no clue. Oh, okay, got, so that's an old. Yeah. Oh, it's driveway. Yeah. Okay. And it's now it's it won't do any good to put a culvert across the driveway because there's no way for the water to go. We're gonna have to put a culvert here and a culvert oh. here below the driveway. Mm. To fix the problem. To fix oh. to fix that yeah. part. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's my plan right now. Is I'm going to be in that grader for a while. The other plan I got that I'd like you people to think about, and I probably already know the answer, is I'd like to have you sell me that grader. <laughs> How do you think about it? <laughs> Uh, sell the grader, <laughs> but you're in Florida in the winter. Is that Don't you worry about that. <laughs> you can do it remote control? No. <laughs> no, I'll be here. You're going to be here? Welcome back to middle of March. You can teach me to run it. That's right. Yep, me too. Yeah. Get a bunch yeah. of volunteers. Need a CDL? <laughs> Probably don't need anything. Don't need it. <laughs> So the grader's not used at all during the winter time for winging no, back is. the slopes and stuff? Yeah, sure it is, yeah. yeah. We, we can make it. arrangements. It can set right over there and you can wing them back all day long. Well, that's going to be <laughs> something that's going to have to take a while to kind of... Well, I, I only threw it out there before you start thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Got an offer? No, you don't have to say that. I can't have. <laughs> don't bring it up yet. No, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I think it's something you ought to think about. I think it would save the town some money. Mm. And, and you, you'll it, find that the roads would be in a lot better shape a lot faster. And you really want to do this. I do. But you could, but you're going to be working on it anyways, right? This year, you know. I don't plan on living there for the rest of my life working for the town. But until they get at least get some help enough to run the grader mm -hmm. and get the roads back into shape, I'm going to be in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless unless somebody really complains tonight and you three tell me not to. I'd love for you to work on the grader. Mm. For now. Yeah, it's just something to think about in the future. Those need a little bit of work. Your grader's getting older. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to replace it sooner or later. 
So you'll get out. Of, you'll get as much as you can out of it, and then when, when, get, we, when we when we have to deal with that that uh, situation in, in terms of a new grader or whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't be buying the grader with the idea that I was going to let you take it back. No, I didn't mean that. No, but, but the no greater, I mean the, even the new <laughs> No, but the grader isn't going to last forever. No, but that would be my responsibility then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about. Okay. Thank you, Chuck. Are you going to come up with a proposal, a formal proposal, or how's this going to be rendered? No, I ain't going to do anything until you three bat it around, see if you're even interested. But well, I think we'd have need a little more information on how you think this might work before we can really well, discuss we, it. We're going okay, to we're discuss gonna... it in a different setting than okay. this. Okay. Well, you Maybe we can go into set after a time and place to do that. After What's that? you set a time and place to do. Well, we can go into an executive we can session. go in executive session at some point, and we can have a conversation about it. Yeah, you'd have to warn that. We'll yeah, warn executive sure. session, and then we'll then we can the go into it. Can you wait until? I can wait as long as you want. <laughs> yeah, I won't be here for the next meeting, but I will be. Yeah. For, for. Yeah. So we should have enough money in the uh, highway equipment. Reserve fund to actually purchase a new piece of equipment. I'm not saying that it would be a greater, but um, oh. we should have an wheel given keeping the money in there, not replacing anything so that we could buy something outright. Um, and I think we're pretty close to having enough in there to buy a new plow truck. We were, we were planning on buying a truck. That's what we were going to use yeah. that fund for. I haven't even seen that highway equipment. Reserve fund spreadsheet. It's it's, it's not in the, the, no it's, it's, in, the town it's in the town report. No, I know it was in last so, year. I'm not sure it was with, in this not year. with uh, with the next the new fiscal year that's coming up this summer. There should be enough money in there to get um, so. Um, and what what we've heard, you know, of late is that you know, like to, if we were going to replace one of the plow trucks, um, that we would kind of need to commit. A year ahead of time. That's that's kind of the way the market has been. Um, yeah, we've got to buy it a year in advance. Yeah. So we buy a 22 and get it in 23. To buy it in 23, get it in 24. That's the best we can possibly do for the turnaround on on those trucks. If we get the truck that we really want, we could get a truck that we don't want tomorrow. Mm. That's not that's not the goal of this. Yeah. Mm. We want to make sure that well, we get the right truck. Yeah, it should go out to bid a little bit. Yeah. yeah. What well, we have to, right? We have to put it out to bid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't have a choice about anyway, that. I'm done with the reader. You guys can think about it. If you think it's something you might want to talk about, we'll talk yeah, about it. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And thanks, Chuck. Um, so I guess we have to ask him how. Well, I, I, I think that for the time being, while we're mulling around, I think that the goal of the select board is to do the best we can on the roads that right. are in, and that's what we're going to do in rough shape right now. That's what we're going to do. Yep. So, so who I think we got that's working our, now? Um, Greg. Hmm. Greg. And Tim. Well. Not really. If you call it, <clears throat> you're being kind if you do. Oh, okay. Alrighty, and the other guy, the Dave Pike, did he? I don't know anything, anything about that. No, Greg hasn't called him. Oh, really? Nope, never oh. followed up. Oh, huh, okay. I kind of discouraged him on this thing. Yeah. Really? Kind of yeah. Pike. You discouraged Greg to do that? Yeah. Hmm. I thought I had a guy to fill out an application, but you haven't seen anything of him, right? We would have seen it by now. And we have our... Well, they have until Friday. Right. We have an application. One. One, one application. One app. And, mm. <coughs> Four have been requested, but You've there's only got, one yeah. back. One more has been requested? or Four. Four, four have been requested. Four. Oh, okay. Because the, uh, the deadline that we set was kind of artificial. You know, we tried to want to get people interested as soon as possible, but... If we don't get anybody, then we extend the deadline. Right. Um, I've got to call, well, I did call uh, Dave Upson last March, and you got me the the contractor agreement with Hardwick right. and sent it to me. Yeah. 
So I've got to get a hold of Dave now that I'm back. He wanted me to wait till we got back. So I got to call him, and he wants to meet with the slap board and me and him to go over what's actually happening with. The, uh, yeah, I don't know if you call it a contract or an agreement. See, what it, a mutual um, agreement of mutual understanding. Agreement, yeah. yeah okay. Between. That's what we got, and it's five days worth of work with our trucks for them plowing West Woodbury. Right. Which is a good deal. Really? He thought that we were taking advantage of them, but the advantage was, they lost the advantage by then his rope foreman not telling us what he wanted to do. Yeah, taking advantage of the agreement. Yeah, because yeah. so last year. So they didn't need it or they didn't think to use it last it. year, but that was the agreement, we, five days of trucking? And he, I'd have to read it exactly. Yeah. 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 And it, uh, we ended up last year giving them 14 load of gravel and putting it in place. Right. Really? Because we couldn't get anything out of Tommy. Out of what? Out of Tommy Fadden. Tommy Fadden. The road foreman. The road foreman. So we wanted to do something so that we didn't lose them plowing West Woodbury. Yeah. So that's what we did. But You just brought some gravel and dumped it there for them? To no, no, they told us where they wanted. Oh, okay, so you did get something. Was it on Cape Burke Road before you got to the intersection? Or is it where, 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 where was it? Uh, Usually, with the agreement, it's not that the Woodbury Road crew will work on Cape Burke Road. It's any place, any place, yeah. any place right. in Hardwick. I think this is Bunker Hill, but I'm not sure. Oh. In times in the past, we've hauled winter sand for them. Um, they had a big project, you know, digging up a road and putting in a bunch of stone, and the road crew, you know, was a part of that for uh, weeks worth of work. Yeah. Or, Dave Upson is leaning towards us hauling in winter sand. Uh huh. Yeah. So we can do it at our leisure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as we know what we got to do. It could be a really fair deal. Is it, are you taking that out of gravel? Where are you taking it? Where, where, what pit are you using for that? Or where where do they get their sand? Gravel. Same, Same place. place. Gravel. So, Same place. Yeah. Are we going to have to go through another contract this you year? You will. We will. Yes. A three year contract is up. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. that'll have to happen sometime this summer. With mm -hmm. the sand? Yeah. 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 Winter sand. Winter sand is up. Okay. Yeah, to review it. Well, anyway, so I'm going to set up a meeting for that for that to happen sometime between now and this fall. So, mm -hmm. if, if earlier you're not going to be later. here next week, next meeting. No, mm -hmm. I won't be here. But the one after, I will be. And that will be May June. Something. June. No, 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 it's no, May twenty third. Twenty third. May twenty third. You want to try to do it for then? That would yeah, be good. We should me. also have the executive session at that time too. Yes. Well. Yeah. No? I suppose we could. May 23rd is a Saturday. So, Oops, no, I'm no, that's Monday. Monday. Wrong thing. May 23rd is Monday. It's a Monday. Okay. Let's stick one right there. There's that one right here. Okay. So, but we can't I'll be call Dave. That would be great. Can we, can we plan for it for the 23rd? Yeah, but and I've got a copy of the agreement that we have that I'm going to drop off to. So he can have it pre-read and yep. come up with and that'll what he give wants us to do. that'll give us a month I was basically. Say, if you need another copy, I've got one. Okay. That'll yeah. give us a month yeah, for well. the new select board to review the there you go. sand gravel. Well, and like I say, he's leaning towards us putting however many days towards their sand pile, which and is we, cool. I mean, if we have a rainy day, we can send bulk trucks out yeah. and knock it out, yeah. or yep. whatever. You know, two three days. Just, yep. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a good deal for us not to have to de-chain a truck and re-chain it to go to West Woodbury. Mm. Absolutely. They're already there. Right. So, mm -hmm. so stock, they're stockpiling the sand. We're stockpiling for We're them. stockpiling their winter sand, yeah. And in return, they clear the West Woodbury roads. They clear and the, sand them. And sand them. With their sand. Mm -hmm. That we've we supplied. That you, you mm -hmm. hauled. <laughs> We hauled it, but they paid right. for it. So our trucks, so our, 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 our trucks don't have to go up there at all during wintertime. No, right. that's, the, that's the idea, is that we're not traveling to West Woodbury and with our trucks. And the people in West Woodbury really appreciate that because um, when they got wind of the fact that there might be some changes in this mutual agreement, uh, we definitely heard about that. And I think if, we had le if, if Tim and Bear were still here, 
they would have agreed <laughs> with that yeah. very strongly. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. According to the folks in West Woodbury, back when Woodbury plowed the roads, they usually didn't get there until late morning. Yeah, kind At of or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, yeah, they'd done all the bus routes here before yeah, they, they did, went up there. Didn't right. they? Well, and, and the bus routes were another story all, all to themselves up there. Right. I mean, there they were people that, 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 well, they used to have people doing right it themselves with, with right. you know, Man. school bus on top yeah. of it. And, mm -hmm. But so I'll set that up for the twenty third. Thank you. Please. Thanks. That's great. Um, but like you said, if we've got all summer to think about it, so if it doesn't work for some reason or another, well, yeah, but what, we yeah. yeah, if it doesn't no, we, work, but, I mean, yeah. if we doesn't but work, these guys are going to winter sale. Oh sure. This oh, sure. Yeah. This. I don't. So we I don't really don't want to go right up. Right. Until no, next, no. 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 I really don't want to. I really don't want to wait. Right. We can get it done. Yeah. We've got plenty of other work that needs to get done over the right. summer. Yeah, yeah. So, beyond this is the, rainy day work. If beyond we can get some work for you. Tell me. We put fill all along the top of the cabot rope from the top of the hill from the down hill. through to the new quarry rope. Yep. And they've got that big pile of stones sitting down there. I know. It's still waiting. Well, little bird told me today that. Swinson's has decided they're going to buy their own crusher and they're going to start selling that stuff for $12 a yard. We, this town needs to be jumping on it. We need to take advantage of it. So they have that huge pile on the lower, you know, that new gate That's is. The one. That's the Well, this was a conversation that the select board had a couple of years ago. We decided to walk away from it because the price was good, but the stone wasn't exactly what we needed. Well, yeah, on the three inch stone, the price is good, but on the inch and a half and the three quarter inch, it's terrible. Terrible. We can buy it for almost a dollar less than what mm -hmm. we're, we're going to pay for it. Up and it's there. a different type of stone. Yeah. But, but you're talking about that crust stuff that's. That, that's mm -hmm. It's quite a pile. Crushed granite. There's only about, there's about 3,500 yards there. Mm. They would have to get an amendment to their Act 250 permit if they decide to do that. I don't care. No, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not going to gonna happen. It's not going to happen very fast. Well, I think, but I, I don't know that I would bet on that one. I'm pretty but, sure that they're going to move that stone no matter what. And they're going to put a crusher in there because they got no more room to put gravel. Hmm. So, uh, so who would be that who, much more who, wear who, there on our roads? No, but and we if can, we, they go through Act 250, we'll get to ask for some more money for the, you know, support the additional wear and tear on our roads. But can't we well, use it for culverts and all sorts of stuff? The big stone. Oh, yeah. the stuff yeah. that we buy. Yeah. The big stone we can use for culverts. We can use it for a bunch of different things, can't we? But I'm thinking that, seems that you know them people up there pretty well, that they should be donating enough to go from the top of that hill down to their new road. Mm -hmm. What for that? All right, I'll talk to Kevin. Fair enough. Who have you been talking to? Who have I been talking? Yeah. Didn't you just resurface that whole thing last year? <laughs> I know, a little bird. What's that? Never mind. Didn't I'll, you just uh, resurface that whole road from the new quarry road? But well, we didn't width it. We didn't. You didn't what? Width in it. Width in it? Yeah. Make wider. It wider. Make it wider. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> right now, from <laughs> the top. Of, right now, from the top of the hill down to their new road. Uh huh. Two 18-wheelers that are loaded are no. not, not going to pass oh. and have good luck. Oh. Yeah. So that road needs to be shoved out there. We put the fill in and everything, put the base in. Mm -hmm. Now we've got to put top coat on it so you can start actually using it for a road. Mm. And they're the only ones that are going to benefit from it. Mm -hmm. So that's the page I'm on right there. Yeah. Chuck, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll call around. Fair enough. Well, yeah. Should have given it to us in the first place. But did McDonald do all that work uh, for crushing and stuff when they went? When they, they did. They did. Yeah. And yeah. that's Swenson. We're gonna. Do, you're gonna drag this meeting on all night because <laughs> Swenson gave us all the rock we wanted. Yeah. But we had to pay McDonald to crush it. Yeah. They wanted that's, fourteen dollars and eighty-five cents a yard. Ridiculous. Yeah. 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 I remember that now. That was the souring of the that deal. That was the souring was. of the deal. It was. It was a great mm -hmm. deal until mm -hmm. they and come up until, with a Until crusher. Swenson came up with a crazy number. Mm -hmm. And there had to be a certain amount that we were going to commit to, right? Yes. Yes. I think there was a... And it if was. it had been down around $12 a yard like it's going to be now, that would have mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. a good deal. Because mm -hmm. we committed the same thing. We'd done the same thing mm -hmm. with gravel construction, mm -hmm. didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. We bought 3,500 yards from that. And that was one of the best deals we ever made. Yep. But this was going to be expensive for no reason. Right. 
And we had to take our own loader up there to load it. They wouldn't. Bring, yeah, right. They wouldn't. They wouldn't bring it down. So we walked away. Well, anyway, from what yeah, could have been we a great deal. Some, we would have had to bring the loader up there, which is. But that's not. That's reasonable. not a big deal. If well, the price is right, but yeah. when you're paying a dollar more, yeah, you can get it loaded for. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, the protect just don't. Yeah, it doesn't travel. In right. my book, don't add up. Uh, hmm. But so, uh, um, and gravel construction is still is selling the gravel like we bought like we pre bought last year for twelve seventy five a yard this year, and that's what we're putting on the road. And they and they're holding on that price. I thought that that was up for. Uh, re Renewal or no? Not this. No, that. They crushed it last year. They were selling it for twelve seventy five, and they're still there. Yep. What mm -hmm. they crushed last year. But that's the part we already paid for, right? To, to buy we, a bunch of a couple. We put thirty five hundred yards of gravel on our roads last year. No, but I mean. Yeah. Didn't you just come to us? A, well, you weren't here, but but you were here on, on the tube, um, that we bought a bunch of maybe it was sand. Fifteen hundred dollars worth. There of you go. Sand. Was it fifteen? I thought it was more than that. Okay. Well, it's three. It's going to be three thousand. We got. We got to have three thousand dollars worth. Yeah. He had a pile down there, and he figured it. There was about fifteen hundred dollars worth. Okay. And we could buy it for. I forgot what it was. It was going to be seven eighty a yard, and we bought it for seven twenty five or something like that by pre buying it. Okay. So we've got 15 years of sand sitting down there. But so we, that's sand as opposed to, and now you're talking about gravel. No, yeah. Gravel from gravel, okay. So the 1275 is gravel, not yeah. sand. <laughs> yeah, and it's good gravel. Okay. We don't have to bid the gravel, but we have to bid the sand. Whatever. <laughs> well, the sand is well. <laughs> over $8,000. That's what we have to put in. Oh, okay. Yep. And the gravel, gravel is just... The uh, gravel is not... For the, that little pile of sand that Chuck's just talking about—that mm -hmm. was under it was under the under under the quota. Yeah, and that was last year's price. We bought them for last year's price. Okay. Right. So when they get ready to start screening this year, it's going to go up. Yeah. A lot. It'd be, I bet it'll be at least a dollar a year more. Mm -hmm. Easily. Isn't everything? Based on trucking prices alone. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're going to sell this stone up here for twelve dollars a yard. You people need to be thinking about jumping on some of it because right now we're paying fourteen seventy five over to Bickford's, oh. and we got to haul it. And and that's a long way. You're going from Marshfield. It's a rough road too. Mm -hmm. But that twelve dollars is that is that is that been? Um, have they have, have they put that out? At, at, at Not yet. But Randy and I are pretty good friends. The foreman up here on the quarry. That's what he told me yes that this morning that it was going to be. They were going to sell it for twelve dollars a yard, and they wanted to move another crusher in there, but they can't find one, so they're going to buy one, I guess. Mm. Why not? If you have a tentative plan with Randy Cleveland to get that done, I think we can. I think it's pretty solid. I think we can make it work. He's always been a pretty straight shooter with me. I don't. I, I don't have any reason to question it. All right. All right. Um, I think we'll have to talk about it. But I don't see any reason that we can't well, yeah. move it forward. Once but we, we got to do it quick. Get it nailed down. I yeah, mean, we got to do it quick. Well, it sounds to me like that it's going to be a continuous thing. Well, we'd but like to move. They need some, to, We'd like to move some of that stone sooner rather than later. Right. Yeah. Well, to work on them with the net road out. All right. That'll take a fair shot. Okay. That'll probably take. Seven eight hundred yards right down to there. Right down to the bottom of it. So the yeah. stuff that they have up there now is the three inch stuff or the. They got both. They got both. Oh, okay. It's a mix. Inch, yeah. Inch, inch and, and a quarter, and, and they got inch. three inch. Right, inch and a quarter. Inch. inch and a quarter and three inch is what they got right now, mm -hmm. as far as I know. Yeah. All right. But I'm going back up tomorrow and talk with them some more. Have they started using that new road, their new entrance? Two weeks yes. ago. Two weeks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. I'm skip. I have to assign a 911 address. Uh huh. For that new <coughs> Kirk Cup. Oh. Got an email from uh, Robin today. Hmm. So I'll be up there tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you. Yeah. Maybe I'll Check see you guys both. Files. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a problem. 
No question. Because the guys that are hauling stone off there say they're not going to chain up. And there ain't no way they're going to come off the top of that mountain. And on the Cabot Road, down over there weighing 130,000 all winter on sand. On sand. Ain't going to happen. So they have to chain now, right? Nope. I mean, it's in there. It's on their permit that we give them for overweight. It says everybody has to do that, but they don't, huh? Not from the old quarry road. No yeah. chance. Huh. We talking about moving moving granite here? Yeah. Moving blocks. So what do they do with the old quarry road? Anything now? They're hoping to give it up. Really? Hoping to donate that. They have, they've had a lot of problems bringing the trucks in and out on that road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're hoping to give that up. Mm -hmm. so good, point, it, I thought it, I heard they were going to go in one way and out the other. That's what I remember hearing, too. Yeah. Yeah. They talked about it, but M. Shaw put an end to that. Yeah, M. Shaw said... Who put an end to it? M. Shaw. They didn't like that idea. They didn't like a loop road idea. Especially yeah. with the quality of that road, oh. right, and the narrowness of it. That's what the what got them the the tall drop offs going off the edge of it and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And they, they made them put the Jersey barriers the whole length of it. Oh but my! Huh. They've had oh. some trucks get yeah get pretty sideways yeah on oh. that road because it goes right up against a granite face mm -hmm. and it's an entirely filled road. Yeah, it's built on grout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? Um, oh, they're way behind over there on their maintenance because they don't have any help and stuff. At the garage? Yeah. Our garage? And I talked to Tim McClay. He's a friend of mine over in Rashfield, a good mm -hmm. mechanic. Mm -hmm. Said he could give us two or three days to come over and help get things caught up. We've got oil changes to do, grease jobs. Uh, Stutter on the excavator. There's a lot of work there. Uh -huh. He's done some work for the time. He before. has. He yes. does a good job. So, Greg used to be a mechanic. Does he, you know, changing oil is. is, is not it's awful hard to set in that grader seat and change your oil truck. I was just going to say, if you're going to yeah. be in the grader, what is Greg going to be doing? He best be getting out and start mowing some road tides, is what I'm planning. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and that's another thing I want to talk to you about this year too. Instead of doing all the brush, all the ditching and the culverts and stuff, we'll do just minor ditching and culverts, and focus on cutting brush. Mm -hmm. It'd be a catch back up, which well, we did. We won't catch up this year. No, but, but it's a start to catch up. We got a sixty-eight thousand dollar mowing machine sitting over there. It's got about ten hours on it. Mm -hmm. It's getting kind of rusty. Yeah. And it's time to put it to work. It didn't, it, you didn't do any mowing last year, did you? Hardly. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, uh, we had About a problem. 10 hours worth. We, yeah, we got started <laughs> on it, and uh, we had to have some warranty work done on one of the valves in the center of the housing. And it took forever to get mm. the parts. Mm. Mm. So, no, we didn't do much, but, mm. but I really think we need to this year. Tend to agree. Well, it's kind of up to you and Greg, I guess. What needs to be done, you, you make the priorities, right? Well, I think hiring an outside contractor to get some of that work done yeah. in the shed. Yeah, I don't plan with, on having him for a long time, but two, three days would catch mm -hmm. it up where if we happen to get somebody we can hire, we should be able to handle mm -hmm. it after that. Mm -hmm. So he'll have to do all of the... Well, Brandy, if Brandy he was here, she would be telling us what. No, but Brandy, anybody that we hire outside of a town, he's already in. He's, 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 he's got a, all he, his information. Yeah. We've, and I'm, I'm kind of speaking for yeah. Brandy. Who yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, we've hired, we, but, yeah. but we've hired him in the past. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he's already established. Right. Mm -hmm. And so to have him work on contract shouldn't be a big deal. Right. No. And it doesn't require our, our opinion in a way. Really? Well. Yeah. I but, just, but, I I think it, but I think it. But I think it. I appreciate. I appreciate <laughs> yeah, yeah, hearing about it. it. Yeah. But I, I think that getting the getting the equipment running so right. that we have a new hire potentially, mm -hmm. and you can be running a third person. That sounds pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure everybody knows what page I'm on. I hear it. All right. 
I, I have one other thing to add, and I've been meaning to connect with Chuck about this too, is that I did meet with um, the project manager for District 6, the new district that we're in, um, and we went over the numbers and paperwork, um, and that's what that um, um, form was. They, they, hopefully you guys signed today so I can send it back to them. Yeah. So, you know, we got our VTRANS allotment or projected allotment. Um, we talked about um, uh, different, like the municipal road general permit. Mm -hmm. um, so we, and we did budget some for a project. Um, it wouldn't be a lot of work, but it would be kind of, we've got to figure out where we want to do that. Um, and then um, I asked about an extension for the design of the box culvert here in the village, because I hadn't gotten to that yet. And the, the uh, grant runs out um, at the end of this fiscal year, which probably wouldn't give a civil engineer enough time to do it. So um, I kind of um, wipe the sweat off my brow, and I can ask for an extension so that we won't lose out on that. Oh, you and, can? Yeah. Okay. And I'll be, we'll be dealing with District 7 for that, because they're the ones that, that uh, gave us the, the grant. <laughs> so um, um, yeah, and I'll, the, the district, the person I met with, her name is Michelle Redmond. She's yeah. kind of a project manager. And the district manager does want to come and meet yeah. that town, wants to. Gerald? Gerald? Yeah, that's his first name. I can't remember his last I name. I can't either. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I've got to call him too. Okay. Because yeah. he wants to set up a meeting with. Yeah, yeah. She mentioned that. And, um, yeah. That's, a name, you, that's a name you don't hear too much anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. Gerald. <laughs> yeah. Nice enough guy. Seems to be. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, you, well. he didn't follow through real good on the apron dance foot of East Hill, but that was kind of a it was a, between her and Sean. It was it was, it was, a, it was a weird in between times. Yeah. I don't know if I can yeah. put yeah, that on him necessarily. Well, and, and I haven't. I haven't. I yeah. just chopped it up that we got something and we got something. So. Yeah. Are you going to leave? No. Not no. necessarily, no. Okay, I'm not asking. You. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chuck. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Long it. Long winded. Well, it. no, no, it's, it's great, great to see you back. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Tell. Okay, so we've done the town plan already. Thank you, Skip, very thank much. You, thank, thank you, Skip. Yeah. Take care. I'll get a hold of you, Skip. Okay, Chuck. Um, appointments. Um, so I should have. Um, I wrote this wrong. It says other positions should be advertised. I should have said should other appointments positions be advertised. So that's what we have to decide whether to go out and advertise that the planning commission needs one more member, the zoning board of adjustment needs one more member, we need an emergency management director, a health officer, and a town energy coordinator. And, and the planning commission does have one person that they would like to select or to appoint tonight. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, we did discuss having another member. We're open to that, but um, well, it's they've not only got nice. if it, with this one person you have, you have six, and there should be seven. Well, there always has been seven. Three to nine. It's an um, odd number. Most committees have an odd number. Yeah. Well, there have been six of us for the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, we usually do things by consensus rather than... No, I realize that. You don't need to um, Who's the new member? Uh, well, you have to appoint her. Um, the select board is recommending that you appoint Elizabeth Higgins. Oh, great. Planning Commission. For the Planning Commission. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She came in to, and asked to be appointed. She did? Mm -hmm. She asked to be appointed to the town, town um, meeting, meeting committee, but then she decided she'd rather be on the Planning Commission. I grabbed her first. Oh, my. <laughs> I think she's pretty smart. I'll make a motion yeah. to appoint Lizzie Higgins to the yeah. Town Planning Commission. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 It just seems like, you know, we should be and, transparent and about that yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, and I, I, uh, I, I so if open somebody open. else wants to be on the Planning Commission, they should have an opportunity. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And she's a good one. There should be another one that might be. Zoning Board of Adjustment? Yeah. 
That one we'd have to advertise, as far as I know. I haven't seen it. Well, anything. like I said, there's an, uh, one more planning commissioner. Uh, in addition of Lizzie, there should be a seventh member. Uh, Board of Adjustment, uh, we had a resignation. And need to have another member there. We really need an emergency management coordinator and a health officer. Those are very important jobs that don't get a lot of work involved, but it's just when you need one, you really need one. That's not the most fun work, usually. <laughs> Typically not. Yeah. And town energy coordinator, you know, there's so somebody could grab onto that and actually make something yeah, of it. The planning commission at our last meeting last week, we did talk about um, possibility of, of actually having an energy committee that would be part of the planning commission and there were two people that were interested in, in um, trying to get that started like a subcommittee of the planning commission i uh, mean the yeah. town can have a planning can have a an energy committee yeah can we set up an energy committee if you yeah there were there's were two people on the planning commission um myself and jim schweinhelm Oh, yeah. mm. would be interested in being on that committee if the select board wanted to set one up. Try to create one. Mm -hmm. And what would the, uh, um, what, what would they do? Yeah. Uh, well, we do have part of the town plan is an enhanced energy, energy plan. plan. Um, so they would help implement some of the things in that and probably would do quite a bit of coordinating of um, uh, like maybe speakers to come in and talk about fixing up your old smoky wood stove um, or um, you know just different places to cite uh, renewable energy or haggling with the Hardwick Electric Department to try to any anybody that's part of the Hardwick Electric Department now who wanted to have solar panels on their roof or whatever um, they've reached a cap and so yeah, there are, based on there isn't anyone there that could do that right at the moment. And at the same time, the state is pushing for towns, every town to do their share for this, you know, total renewable energy by 2050, which, you know, will never happen. But um, so, t you know, towns that are kind of uh, served by Hardwick Electric um, are kind of stuck in the middle with, there are people, private individuals who would like to um, have solar panels or whatever, um, but there's no way that they can um, that they can do that right now. Didn't Hardwick Electric install a big uh, array of solar yeah, panels for themselves? Array, yeah. Did that affect their their their? I have no idea. I don't know. It's we it, don't get but to. But if the, the town to that, paid right. for it, or the Hardwick Electric paid for it themselves, or. Uh, I mean, if, if, it's, if it's one know, of them, but then but I know it wasn't meetings. private. It was it was right. the it was Hardwick Electric. Yeah. I believe that did it. So, so would so, that make it as a town energy committee and not a coordinator from now on out? It no, would be, instead of one person, it would be it would a be a small group of people. If there was a town, if we could find someone who wanted to be the town energy coordinator, they could end, they could head up an energy committee. Right. There is an official position somewhere in the books. Yeah. 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 And I, I served in that role for a number of years and I hardly ever had time to do anything. I did get LED lights for the street lights. That was you know, pretty easy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just never had really any time to... to so what would be what, what would be the call for a need for an energy coordinator? Um, well, execute um, what is already approved in the town plan as best right. as possible. Yeah, there's not there's not really much, but I mean there's opportunities if somebody wanted. I mean the harbor, they have had an energy committee for quite a while. I'm not sure if they most towns have really a committee do, instead, of but, uh, in, instead of a an individual people person. People together and they can mm -hmm. think of things to do. Right. So what are we going to do? Are we doing anything on this matter? Well, I, I, I just threw that out. That's just. For well, we have to advertise. We have to advertise for an additional planning commission member, a member for the board of adjustment, our emergency management director, our health officer, and at least one person who is the town energy coordinator. Mm -hmm. We have to advertise for those positions. Have we advertised yet for any of those positions? Not nope. really. No, okay. I don't. Nope. 
Do we have to get all the appointments to the ones that were? Do we have to? What we already. Do we have to move on this? Or? Not really. I think we should do it, but we should just do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put something together. Okay. And can we get it up on FPF? Yeah. And the town page. Yeah. Mr. Ricky, is it okay that it's on the town page? That doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's not on my page. Yeah, it's, a, it's a town page, right? Actually, so. actually, right. Tegan is uh, yeah, has Tegan. offered oh, to do sorry, an, an additional text kind of stuff if we need anything, working on the website and things like that. She says she and she could also probably introduce us to what was it, the Google Pages? What was Google it? Drive. Hmm? Drive. Huh? Google Drive, I think. Yeah, that whole um, new way of sharing documents and stuff like that that we might want to get uh, acquainted with at some point. But yeah, if we come up with a list, she can put it on the website, put it on the Front porch forum. If Robin wants to do it, that'd be good. Um. Okay. Can we go on to the town meeting committee? Okay. I did make these, uh, what did I do? I made all these copies. To remind you, these are the six um, people that we had showing interest. Yeah, I think there was a good response here. And, and not that I'm favoring my son, but I think that it, there's a good good blend of people. Yeah. And, uh, and I think people step forward uh, realizing this is an important issue. Yeah. And John, John, of course, uh, will have a uh, role in this. We already appointed John to be the chair. Right. And, yeah. but he still sent in his little board here. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> so I think it's good. Uh, Do we have to move on this? We should. We have okay. to make the appointments. Is there a motion? Well, make them all or yeah. five or five hundred? Yeah. I think we should take them all. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the five applicants to the six. town committee. Six. Excuse me, six applicants well, to the town meeting committee John. as stands. Well, John John's already John. appointed though, so that doesn't right. really okay. count. Thank you. So yeah. the five applicants yeah. to the town meeting committee as stands. Should I read the names? Please. Alex Peltz. Jonah Meacham. Gwendolyn Marsha. Jane Old Ordino. And Ellie Hayes. And Ellie Hayes. You heard the motion. You have a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So moved. I'll let John know. So we're going to executive session over Sylvia Jackson? I've got one more thing as a taxpayer. Please. Old Corey Row. Oh. I'll buy Isabel. Isabel. Jezebel. 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 Yeah. Whoever. Yeah. <laughs> Across the road, there's another little shack that they dropped up there and it's in the town right away. The horse, the, what is it, Shed? Elizabeth Shed? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And she's living in it. And it's, the building is in the town right away. Oh. Okay. It needs to be moved. Hmm. But, but. Uh, Jezebel's after me to have it done as a road commissioner. But I'm thinking that the zoning administrator needs to be the one leading the handle on this. I don't really think it's part of his job. I mean, How she should, well, she, she should have to get a permit. So she, he could go after her for that. Well, she didn't. Right. She didn't get a permit. Right. And so it's in the general right away. Right. So she should, have to, he, she should have to get a permit. He can go after her for that. And then he, he can tell her she can't do what she's done. Yeah. And she needs to be doing something with it. Yeah. Because if I go after it, I'm going to be down here looking for you to send her a registered letter. Yeah. Okay. We could do that too. I'm not, I'm not going to horse around with it. Yeah. 
when I come down through there and can't get through with my pickup, Ooh. something's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funky. Yeah, yeah, it is. And there's no need of it. Yeah. She owns 10 and a half acres, 10, 11 acres up mm. in there. And there's a lot better places for that building than there. Mm. Okay. It's time something was done with it. Oh. And as far as that other mess up to the end, did the town give up the right of way the, to that other piece of road? Oh gosh, I'm confused now. Mm, no. I don't think no, they the town, anything. As far as I know, the town has not given well, that. That's in the right of way too then. Okay. What? I'll have, to, tent. Tent. I'll have yeah. to look again, I it was but I don't think we've given any of that up, okay. as far as I know. Well, the new road comes up and goes around with this. Have the old road went like this. Yeah. Okay. Did you give up oh. the rights to that road? No, I don't think so. And then there's another Old Town Road over here. There's three yeah. different yeah. separate sections of yeah. Old Town Road. And they were all town roads. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what's been given up. It, he can't get out of the right-of-way of the three roads. That was what... The, the town hasn't thrown up many roads. Oh, no, the town has been. Yeah, I don't think that was part of the whole deal with. Uh, Man, I'm telling you, with the character you're dealing with, I wouldn't be surprised at all that it was written right in there that he got that back. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Interesting. So, so well, we need to look into that. If yeah. you're going to clean that mess up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know who looks into the land records. Is that your job, Robin? <laughs> I can do that. If she lets me off to sign up for fault time. That's right. <laughs> as long as... Uh, I, I think it should be looked into soon. Mm -hmm. Because if once they get established up there, it's going to be a lot harder than it is right now yeah, when there ain't nobody there. He never should have been able to... Well. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Somebody remember. dropped the ball somewhere. I mean, it never should have happened. I'm well, not really sure how that, how that all. It just sort of appeared. Well, you know, the town had an opportunity to buy that little piece of land before the whole mess started, and they didn't take it, so that it devolved into all that uh, legal work it's and kind of a mess right now. Yeah. All we got, all we ended up was with was the right of way. Yeah, it's really it's too bad. It'd been a lot nicer. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go into executive <laughs> session. Okay. okay. Yeah. You don't need me for that. We'll, we'll take a quick break. We'll take a quick break, break and then we'll go into executive session. <laughs>